<clears throat> Today on November the 5th, especially in Britain and to some extent uh, among uh, the members of the British diaspora around the world, is celebrated the so-called gunpowder plot, rather it's uncovering. Of course, we should remember that back in 1605 when this gunpowder plot uh, was discovered, England still used the old Julian calendar, so, so according to our Gregorian calendar, uh, the event actually occurred on November the 15th. Anyway, the British uh, school children have for a long time recited the poem <clears throat> remember remember the 5th of november gunpowder treason and plot i see no reason why gunpowder treason should ever be forgot or something similar i remember this actually from one of my uh, english courses if i'm not mistaken uh, even before i moved uh, or immigrated to canada in 1987 <clears throat> So, it was a failed attempt to assassinate King James I of England and James VI of Scotland by some provincial English Catholics led by Robert Catesby. Uh, its most famous participant, however, was Guy Fawkes. Guy or actually Guido Fawkes. The other participants or conspirators were John Wright, Thomas Wintour, uh, Thomas Percy, Robert Keyes, <coughs> Thomas Bates, Robert Wintour, Christopher Wright, John Grant, Ambrose Rookwood, Sir Everard, Digby and Fra Francis uh, Tresham. The plan was to blow up the House of Lords during the state opening of England's Parliament on November the 5th, 1605, according to the Julian calendar or November the 15th, 1605, according to our Gregorian calendar, as the prelude to a popular revolt in the Midlands, <clears throat> during which James's nine-year-old daughter, Princess Elizabeth, was to be installed as the Catholic head of state. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Catesby may have been embarked on the scheme after hopes of securing greater religious tolerance under King James had faded leaving many English Catholics disappointed. A Guy Fawkes, who had 10 years of military experience fighting in the Spanish Netherlands uh, in the failed suppression of the Dutch revolt, was given charge of the explosives. Uh, during a search of the House of Lords at about midnight on November the 4th, uh, 1605, uh, which was nine days after an anonymous letter sent to William Parker, the fourth baron of Mont Eagle uh, had revealed the plot. The Fox was discovered guarding 36 barrels of gunpowder, enough to reduce the House of Lords to rubble had they been exploded and arrested. Most of the con conspirators fled from London <clears throat> as they learned of the plot's discovery, trying to enlist support along the way. <coughs> Several did fight against the pursuing sheriff of Worcester and his men at Holbesh uh, House. Uh, in the ensuing battle, Catesby was one of those shot and killed. At their trial on January the 27th, 1606, or according to our current uh, calendar, uh, February the 6th of that year, eight of the survivors, including Fawkes, were convicted and sentenced to be hanged, drawn, and quartered. <coughs> the principal Jesuit of England, Father Henry Garnet, allegedly knew details of the assassination attempt. Although he was convicted of treason and sentenced to death, doubt has been cast on how much he really knew of the plot. Because its existence was revealed to him through confession, Garnet was prevented from uh, informing the authorities <coughs> excuse me <coughs> by the absolute confidentiality of the confessional. Although anti-Catholic legislation was introduced soon after the plot's discovery, 
Many important and loyal Catholics retained high office during King James I's reign. The thwarting of the gunpowder plot was commemorated for many years afterwards by special sermons and other public events such as the ringing of church bells which have evolved into the bonfire night of today. <laughs>